everybody and welcome to Bar Sculpt. My name is Amanda. So for today's class, I'm using a set of light weights, totally optional. If you don't have light weights, please feel free to grab water bottles, maybe some soup cans or some bottles. Um, some people use candles. You can also do it with just your body weight. Just for reference, I'm doing one pound weight. Feel free to go heavier. Do just your body weight. Do what you can and what you will today. Let's go ahead and start from a standing position. Nice high knees, using your lower abs to draw your knees up tall towards your shoulders. Same knee towards same shoulder. If you're using any kind of tracking device for your workouts, go ahead and set that on now. I know I always forget. Nice high knees, big inhales, big exhales. Go ahead and reach your arms up overhead. Palms are facing in towards one another. And go ahead and add a wide pull down as you lift the knees up super high. Strong point for your toes. Give me two more here. Coming from a standing position, opening over the hip, coming over to a side lunge, knee up and over, bringing in that knee super high. One more on each side. Sticking your bum back. And then coming down to a low wide squat. Feet are wide, your hips, toes turned out. Sink your hips down. Reach your arms out from your side, teen out your arms, reach down, tapping the opposite inside, coming back to center, alternating opposite fingertips towards opposite ankle, maybe reaching for your calf, reaching for your knee, your thigh, whatever you can. One more on each side, and then hold it upright, shoulder stack over your hips, arms forward, and a windmill motion, chest stays lifted, relax your shoulders from your ears. Go ahead and reverse the direction, warming up those shoulders, keeping your hips nice and low. Go ahead and hinge forward at your waist, keeping the hips low. Give yourself a nice big hug and then squeeze your shoulders as you lift the arms up towards the ceiling. Few more just like this. Go ahead and come on down to a runner's lunge, left leg forward, pressing into that left knee, not letting the left knee pass your toes. Opening up your right hip on this side. Go ahead and draw your hip back as you straighten that front and left leg. Maybe point and flex or circle up the ankle if that feels good for you. And then gently switching sides. Right leg steps forward, pressing into that right knee. Avoid letting the right knee pass your toes. This time, opening up your left hip. Chest stays lifted. Go ahead and draw your hip back as you straighten that front right leg. Maybe point and flex the toes, circle out the ankle. Whatever you did on the left side, repeating it on the right side. Go ahead and come on up to standing. Roll your shoulder blades back, roll them forward. Go ahead and grab your weights or whatever other devices you are using for weights if you're using them or use just your body weight. Coming to a standing position from here. We're going to hinge forward, feet are hip width apart and parallel, grounding through your feet. From here, elbows are lifted. We're just going to bend and extend into the arms, working in that upper body, keeping that hinge forward, soft bend in your knees, gaze is down a foot or two in front of your toes. Elbows stay close in towards your body. So avoid allowing your elbows to come out. You want to work into those triceps, the backs of your arms. Elbows stay close in towards your body. Grounding through your big toe all the way out towards your pinky toe, back towards your heels. Soft bend in your toes. Gaze is forward to avoid straining your neck from looking side to side. Keep it going. Go ahead and hold the arms straight. From here, we're going to raise and lower the palms up and raise and lower. Palms in, raise and lower. So straight arms, alternating, palms facing upwards as you raise and lower, and then palms facing inward, raise and lower. Arms straighter. Trying to lift your arms even higher, drawing your arms down towards your knees, and then back up, maybe past your hips, maybe coming to shoulder height. Keep it going, working into those shoulders, working into those triceps even more. 
nice and controlled. Keep it going, alternating, raise and lower, one time of each, palms facing up, and then switching, palms facing in. Keep it going, moving with control. Next one, we're going to hold the palms facing up, and we're going to draw tiny circles. Arms straighter, lifting your arms even higher. It does not matter which direction you draw the circles. We're going to switch when we're about halfway. Tiny circles here. Little circles in any motion, any direction. Palms stay facing up. Core is engaged. Pulling that hinge forward, deep bend in your knees. Relax your shoulders down from your ears. Go ahead and reverse the direction. The direction that you started with, go ahead and come into the opposite direction than what you started with. Tiny circles here. Keep it going. Keep it going. Almost there. Go ahead and come to a standing position. From here, we're going to come into a squat with a bicep curl back to standing. Full range of motion, your feet remain hip width apart and parallel. As you come into that squat, bending your elbows, drawing your fingertips up towards your shoulders, palms are facing upward, core is engaged. As you sit deeper in that squat each time, think about sitting back into a chair behind you. Avoid drawing your knees into a knock knee position, keeping them hip width apart and parallel. Keeping it going, core is engaged. Almost there. Nice fluid movement. Palms facing up. Bicep curl as you sit lower into that squat. Imagine that chair keeps getting smaller and smaller. Still going. Still moving. Give me one more. Go ahead and come to same. Bring your arms overhead. Palms are facing inward. We're going to draw the knees. Deep down, deep in your knees, elbows toward your knees, come back to standing. Full range of motion here. Your core remains engaged. Your forearms are framing your face. Palms are facing inward, holding those weights. Elbows to knees as you squat down deeper into that teeny tiny chair. Keeping it going. Maybe your elbows tap your knees. Maybe they just come super close. Doing what you can today, moving with control. Still going, still moving. Almost there, sitting, squatting deeper into those knees, hips pressed back, elbows down towards your knees. Give me one more. Go ahead and hold it in that squat. Your elbows don't have to touch your knees here, just holding it here, extend your arms straight, we're going to come into a hammer curl as we alternate stepping the legs out to the side so your hips are staying low, but you're sinking your hips even further as you step the alternating leg out. Right leg steps out, right leg steps in, left leg steps out, left leg steps in. Simultaneously, adding in that hammer curl. So palms are facing inward, your core is engaged. Tucking your hips under, keep it going. Right leg steps out, right leg steps in, left leg steps out, left leg steps in. Still going, elbows are close in towards your body, chest is lifted, still going, still moving. Go ahead and give me one more on each side, wherever you're at. Go ahead and hold it. And our low wide second, so your feet are wide in your hips, toes are turned out, sink your hips down, coming into a nice wide squat, reach your arms out to the side, tiny circles, palms are facing down, option to hold it here, you can also alternate raising and lowering the heels, bonus calf work here, working the tops of your arms, sculpting those shoulders, core is nice and engaged, Alternating, right heel raise, right heel lower, left heel raise, left heel lower. Keeping those circles going, 
go ahead and flip the direction of your circles. So whatever direction you started with, go ahead and do the reverse, keeping everything nice and symmetrical. Core remains engaged. Keep it going, chest is lifted, shoulders are stacked over your hips. Keep it going, one more on each side. Keep those hips nice and low. Go ahead and stop the circles. Both feet are flat. We're gonna draw the right hand down towards the right ankle, left arm up. Come back to standing. Left hand down towards left ankle, right arm up. Come back to standing. So your arms remain in that T position. You're cinching your waist. You're working that core. You're keeping your hips low. Your arms are straight. Pulling your fingers in the opposite directions as you rotate your body, left hand towards left ankle or knee, opposite arm up, and then switching sides. Keep it going. Almost there. Give me one more on each side, wherever you're at. Slow and controlled. All right, go ahead and come back up. Go ahead and relax your shoulders. Maybe you roll them out a little bit. Relax your arms down in front of you. From here, we have a forward raise and lower, palms in, raise and lower, palms up, raise and lower. From the beginning, palms down, raise and lower, palms in. So you're alternating, palms up, palms in, palms down. As you raise and lower your arms, your shoulders are relaxed down from your ears. Relax your forehead. It's just far. We're just having fun. Keep it going. Shoulders are stacked over your hips. Your core is engaged. Maybe sink your hips lower. Yes, very nice work. Palms face down, raise and lower. Palms face in, raise and lower. Palms face up, raise and lower. One more time through. And I actually totally forgot, we are going to use a band today. If you have it, if not, no worries whatsoever. One more. All right, go ahead and set those weights down for just a second. You can grab your band if you're using one. If not, no worries. You're still going to get a killer workout in regardless. All right, from here, you can have one weight in each hand or leave them off to the side. We're going to bring our feet hip width apart and parallel. Soft bend in your knees. From here, go ahead and draw your right foot forward. Soft bend, strong point through your toes. Tuck your hips under, shoulder sack over your hips. We're just gonna raise and lower that right leg. Your core is engaged. So you're sinking back into your hips. Your hips are staying parallel. So both of your hips are facing directly in the same position. Avoid letting your hip come down. Avoid letting it lift up. Focus on your form. Don't worry about how high you're lifting a leg. If it's only an inch or two, but you have your form perfect, you are better off. Keep it going. Just raise and lower. Go ahead and hold that leg lifted as high as you can. Flex the toes. Extend and bend into that right knee. Core is nice and engaged. Soft bend in your standing left knee, keeping your hips tucked under. Hands can be to your hips. Hands can be at heart center. Tee out your arms. You can bring your arms overhead. Whatever works for you. You can also hold on to a ledge or a tabletop or a chair if you have it. Most important thing is that your back is flat. Avoid hinging forward or hinging backward. Give me one more here. Bend and extend. Go ahead and bring that right foot back in line with your left. So with the soft bend in your knees, we're going to extend the right leg forward, draw it in, out to the side, draw it in, draw it back to the diagonal, draw it in, draw it directly behind you, back in. So four times, bring it forward, back in, out from the hip, back in, out to the diagonal, back in, directly behind you. Give me one more round here, forward, in, out to the side, in, back to the diagonal, in, directly behind you, and in. All right, go ahead and shake it out here. We're gonna tap that right foot back, coming into a reverse lunge. So you want your back right knee directly under your right hip, your front left knee directly under 
your left, whoop, your left ankle. Go ahead and bend your knees down from here. We're going to pulse out for three, two, and one. Left heel, raise, and lower. Two more, raise, and lower. One more, raise, and lower. Pulse out for three, two, and one. Hold low, heel, raise, and lower. Two more, raise, and lower. One more, raise, and lower. Pulse it out for three, two, and one. Three heel raises and lowers. That front left knee is raising and lower, bending deeper into that calf. Hold the heel lower. Just pulse and pulse and pulse. Hold it low. Raise and lower. Raise and lower. Give me one more set here. Pulse it out for three, two, and one. Heel raise and lower. Heel raise and lower. One more. All right. Go ahead and draw that right foot in. Maybe shake it out. Now we have the exact same thing on the left side. So bringing your feet back to hip width apart and parallel, soften your knees, extend your left leg. Remember to keep your shoulders stacked directly over your hips. We're just gonna raise and lower. Strong point through your left toes. You're using your lower abs to draw that left knee high. You're using that band. Use that resistance of the band to raise and lower. Strong point through your left toes. Keep a soft bend in your standing right knee. Relax your shoulders down from your ears. You're welcome to hold on to a bar or a ledge with your left or your right hand if you'd like. Just raise and lower. Core is nice and engaged. You got it, looking so strong. Go ahead and hold that left leg lifted, flex the foot. Here we go, extend and bend, extend and bend. So as you extend and bend, think about holding that left knee just as high, maybe even higher than when you were pulsing it. Extend and bend. You're working into the lower abs. You're working into the top of your left thigh, working into that quad. We already did the right side. Now we're doing the same thing on the left side, keeping the left toes flexed, full extension, and little bend. Bend that knee back to 90. Core is engaged. Give me one more. Go ahead and set that left leg down. Bring it back in line with your right. Maybe shake it out. Still with a soft bend in both your knees. Now we have four point steps. Bring it forward, back in, out in line, back in, out to the diagonal, back in, directly behind. Again, bring it forward, back in line, out from the hip, back in line, back to diagonal, and then bring it back. Two more times through on the left side. Bring it forward, back in line, out from the hip, back in line, drop back, back in line, and bring it back. One more here, that's four. Three more, bring it diagonal. One more, back. All right, go ahead and shake it out. From here, we're gonna step that left foot back, coming into that lunge. As you bend into that back left knee, think about keeping your shoulders stacked over your hips. Your back left knee is directly behind or underneath your left hip. Your front right ankle is directly under your right knee. We're going to pulse it for three, two, and one. Right heel raise and lower and raise and lower. Once more, raise and lower. Hold low, pulse and pulse and pulse. Hold low, heel raise and lower, heel raise, and lower, gaze is forward, hold the heel low, just pulse, and pulse, one more, hold low, heel raise, and lower, heel raise, and lower, pulse it for three, last three, two, and one, heel raise, and lower, heel raise, and lower, grab a bar if you need to, two more times through, pulse, and pulse, Heel raise and lower. Once more after this. One more heel raise. Hold it flat. That's three, two, and one. Three heel raises and lowers. Then we're going to come back and shake it out once more. All right. Release it down. Draw that left foot back in. Line with your right. Maybe shake it out. Move those hips a little bit. All right. From here, let's go ahead and come into... Bring our heels together, slide your right foot forward, bend your knees. You're coming to that fourth position. 
except your front right heel is not touching your back left toes. You're keeping that space. Keep your knees nice and bent. We're just gonna press the knees out, working into the inner and outer thighs of both of your legs. Feet are flat on the floor, tiny presses. Maybe you don't see your knees moving. That's totally fine. You're feeling that pressure in your outer hip. You're feeling that your knees are moving in that direction. Tiny little pulses out, keeping it going. Little pulses, give me 10 more. That's seven and six, last five and four, last three, two and one. Go ahead and shake it out. You guessed it. Now we have the other side, heels together. Slide that left foot forward so your front left heel is not touching any part of your back right leg. Bend your knees coming into that feet separated fourth position. Nice deep bend your knees, shoulders stack over your hips. Go ahead and press the knees out and out. Now maybe you'll find that one side is more flexible than the other, that your hips open, your knees press outward more. That is totally normal. Keeping it going, tiny little presses. Tiny little pulses here. We're gonna come down to the floor into a tabletop position next. Tiny little presses. That's right, give me seven more. That's six and five. Last four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and set your weights out if you had them. Go ahead and find your tabletop with your wrists under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Nice flat back, your core is engaged, so avoid hammocking your belly or avoid rounding your spine. Nice flat back. You can also draw your left forearm down, keeping your right arm boxed out if you would like. We're going to draw that right knee to our right elbow and then kick it back. Knee to elbow and kick it back. So you're working that outer right hip on this side. You're keeping that right knee bent. Your right knee stays lifted. Maybe your right knee taps your right elbow, and then you're kicking your leg back, feeling that squeeze in your outer right glute. You're working your core as you draw the knee to the elbow. Keep it going. Core is nice and engaged. Maybe you have both palms down. Maybe your left forearm is down, allowing you to open up your right hip even more. Give me one more. Go ahead and bring that right knee back in line with your hip from the same position with both your hands down or your left forearm down. Now we're gonna draw the right leg out to the side and back in. Most important thing here is you wanna avoid leaning into that left side. So if you find that you are if you walk your hands more so towards the center of your body, more to the right side, drawing that right leg out to the right and back in. You want to feel that work in your outer right thigh, working the outer right glute, your outer right hip. You don't want to feel it in your left side. Don't worry, that side will get some love here soon. Just right leg out to the right and back in. It doesn't have to tap the knee as it comes in. You don't have to get that right knee super high. Maybe if it's just an inch or two, that's perfect. Keep it going. Find that little squeeze as you lift to your highest potential and then drawing that right knee back down towards the floor. Go ahead and give me one more. Go ahead and release that right knee down. Go ahead and draw your forearm down, giving your wrist a little bit of break here. With both of your knees still into the floor, tuck your toes. From here, we're going to come into Dolphin Bear. We're going to tuck our toes and hover our shins so your knees are lifted off the floor. Shins are parallel. We're going to press the knees out, back in, pull them out, back in. Working both of those outer thighs. Keep it going. Little knee pulses out and in. Your core is engaged. The balls of your feet and your toes are pressed into the earth. Heels are lifted. Forearms are pressed firmly into the floor, maybe gazing down between your forearms. You can also gaze down towards your toes, bringing your forehead closer towards the earth. Give me two more here, slow and controlled. All right, go ahead and gently release your knees down. Now we have the other side. We're gonna come into that left side, so you can draw 
your right forearm down. If you like, keeping your left arm boxed out. We're going to draw the left knee to the left elbow and then kick it back. Keeping it going, slow and controlled. Now that left toe, whoop, you can have it flexed, you can have it pointed, you can also have it relaxed. Whatever works for you, and if you have a rubber band and it's coming undone or rolling up, don't worry, you can fix it or just leave it be. Keep it going. We won't have these bands on for too much longer. And same thing here, if you find that you're leaning in to that right side, just draw that right arm in toward the center of your body, towards the left side. Maybe your left knee taps your left elbow. Give me two more. Knee to elbow, press it back. Knee to elbow, press it back. Go ahead and draw that knee back in line with your right forearm down or both your wrists into the floor. Left knee out to the side, drop back in. Your core is engaged, so again, avoid rounding or hammocking your spine. If you want to do the cat and cows real quick, to stretch out your back and then find that neutral spine, that's perfect too. You're welcome to keep your feet separate. You can also keep your feet together, limiting your range of motion as you open and close your left knee. If you're able to control the motion, you can bring that foot with you, keeping it in line with your left knee. Just open and close. Keeping it going, slow and control, core is engaged. Give me two more. Open and close once more. All right, release that left knee down. We're gonna go ahead and come onto our stomach here. Keeping that band on. You can just rest your forehead or your chin onto the tops of your hands, palms are stacked. Lift your legs, lift your feet, your ankles, your shins, your knees, your thighs, everything you can. Point your toes, and now we're gonna open and close. Open and close the legs, having those legs to a hover, or as high as you can, just open and close. You're squeezing your glutes, squeezing everything you can, Still going, still moving. Just open and close. Give me a few more just like this. Legs higher. Two more. One more. All right, go ahead and release everything down. Just relax your left leg. Draw your right foot to 90 so you're bringing your heel closer towards your glutes. Flex your right toe so the sole of your right foot is pressed up towards the ceiling. You can again just rest your forehead or your chin on the floor. Press your left hip into the floor as you press your right heel up towards the ceiling and back down. So yes, this is a glute work on your right side. Yes, you're working your hamstrings, but you also want to engage your core, making it also a core work. Right heel towards the ceiling, release down. Think about stamping the sole of your right foot up towards the ceiling, tiny squeeze, and then release down. Trying to bring your right knee, your right thigh, all the way up towards your hip, off the floor. Give me two more. One more, just like this. Go ahead and release your right knee down, extend your right leg. Maybe shake out your hips, relax that right leg. Bend your left knee, flex your left foot, draw your right hip into the earth. We're going to press up. And release, press up and release. Just the left leg is moving. Relax your right leg, relax your right toes. Avoid pressing out anywhere from the right side. As you lift that left foot up towards the ceiling, squeeze your glutes and engage your core. Think about trying to press your core further into the floor. Keep it going. Almost there. Tiny little press and lower. Trying to get that left knee, left thigh, all the way off of the floor, all the way up towards your hip. Press up and back down. Think about stomping your foot up onto the ceiling. One more. 
with that band. Last move here. Go ahead and come to a low plank, keeping your forearms on the floor. Tuck your toes, lifting your hips. So from here, you can also have your knees down if you would like. We're going to do alternating straight leg raise and lower. And then straight leg tap, bring it in. So if your knees are down, you're just lifting and lowering one at a time. And then you're tapping out one at a time. You can also come to a tabletop position. Maybe pressing your hands in. You're going to extend, raise, and lower, draw it in. Extend, raise, and lower, draw it in. Extend, tap out, tap in, bring it in. All right, wherever you're at, go ahead and take the bands off. From here, maybe grab a sip of water. All right, come into a reverse tabletop position with your fingertips facing your toes. We're going to lift our hips up and we're going to bend and straighten our elbows, working into those arms one more time. Just when you thought that we were done with our arms, we want to work everything all flat. Keep it going. Bend and extend into those arms. Maybe your hips tap the floor. Maybe they just come close. Tiny bend, tiny extend. Give me five more. Four more. Three more. You got this. Last two. And one. All right. Go ahead and extend your arms and legs long in opposite directions, straight arms, straight legs. We're going to crunch everything together. So draw your knees to your chest, elbows toward your knees. Same thing that we did, but this time we're laying down versus standing. As you extend everything, keep everything covering, and then crunch it back in. Knees to elbows, elbows to knees. Extend, draw it in. Suitcase crunches. As you crunch everything together, think about trying to fit yourself into a suitcase. That's how small and compact you want to be. Keep it going. Knees to your chest, elbows toward your knees. Keep it going. Maybe they tap, maybe they just come close. You got this. Full extension, bending all the way in. A few more here that we're going to Grab those set of weights, one weight in each hand, still going. Legs are zipped together, arms overhead, legs extend, crunch everything together. Give me one more. Full extend and pull everything in. Go ahead and release your feet down. Grab one weight in each hand, roll on back. From here, bend your knees to a tabletop, knees are over your hips, elbows are hovering the floor, palms are facing in. We're going to extend, same arm, same leg, draw it in, same arm, same leg, draw it in. So you're alternating, left arm, left leg, extend, draw it in, right leg, right arm, extend, draw it in. So your elbows are hovering, everything is off the floor, your shoulders, your head, your knees, your legs, your arms, the only thing pressed into the floor is your lower back. If you find that your lower back is lifting up, or if you have any discomfort, don't lower and extend your legs as far. If it's up to the diagonal, that's perfectly fine. Your core is engaged. One more on each side. All right, go ahead and bring your feet flat on the floor. Your legs are zipped. Draw your elbows close into your side. This time they can press into the floor. Maybe readjust yourself if you need to. Your heels are close in towards your glutes. We have a Zipped leg, glute bridge, raise and lower with a neutral press. Your knuckles press up to the ceiling, palms are facing in. Lower your elbows, lower your hips, press everything back up. Lowering everything down and pressing back up. Your core is engaged. Keep it going. Think about somebody having a string underneath your hips. They're lifting them higher. Your core is engaged. Pressing the soles of your feet down into the floor. Almost there. Raise and lower. 
Keep it going. Almost there. You got this. Arms and hips raise. Everything lowers. Give me one more. Go ahead and hold your hips down. Go ahead and set your left way off to the side. Right elbow wide behind your head. Right knee stays bent. Foot flat on the floor. Extend your left leg long. Left hand down by your left hip. We're going to draw the right elbow to the left knee. Full extend. Then we're going to draw the right hand to the left toes. Full extend. So you're alternating. Opposite elbow, opposite knee, opposite hand, opposite toe. So you're working the same side, bent and straight leg bicycle. That left arm, right leg is not moving. Just your right arm, just your left leg. Right elbow to right to left knee, right hand to left toes. Keep it going, slow and controlled. Working that core. That left leg is not coming down to the floor ever. It's coming to a hover. One more on each side. You got the knee to the elbow. Extend, hand to toe, extend. Go ahead and grab that second leg. Bring your feet hip width apart and parallel. From here, we're gonna draw the elbows out to the side, one way in each hand. We have a glute bridge raise and lower, hip width apart, as we have a wide arm chest press. Your core is engaged. Squeeze your glutes to the top. Your knuckles are pressed up towards the ceiling. Your hips barely tap and then lift right back up again. Keeping it going. Moving with control. You got this. Squeeze as you lift. Release and lower. Palms are facing towards your toes. Knuckles are up towards the ceiling. Wide arm chest press with a hip width glute bridge. Raise and lower. One more. Release everything down. Set the right weight off the side. Right hand palm down by your hip. Left elbow wide behind your head with the weight. Left foot is bent. Right leg extends. Draw the right knee in. Left elbow to top. Extend. Left hand right toe tap. Extend. So same thing here. Your lower back is pressed into the earth. Your shoulders stay lifted as you bend and extend into that right leg. That right leg is hovering. Bring it as low as you can without anything touching. Point the toes more. Left elbow to right knee, full extension. Left hand to right toes, full extension. Slow and controlled. Left foot is grounded into the earth. Your right palm is planted into the floor. Keep it going. Your lower back is pressed down into the mat. One more of each. Left elbow to right knee. Extend. Left hand to right toes. Extend. Draw everything back in. Grab the weight in your right hand. Walk your feet wider than your hips. We're going to draw the knuckles in, making an O shape, almost like you're holding a beach ball. Your feet are wider than your hips. Toes are turned out. We're going to draw our arms open. As we lift the hips, wide arm chest open and close, working the corners of the chest with a wide leg glute bridge raise and lowers, working the outer pockets of those hips one more time. Keep it going. Avoid allowing your knees to come in toward each other. Keep your knees nice and wide as you raise and lower with your feet wider apart it's going to limit your range of motion that is intentional keep it going core is engaged almost there you got this open and close your palms are facing in your elbows stay bent Maybe your knuckles tap very gently and then open apart as you raise your hips higher, squeeze your glutes. Still going, still moving, heels pressing into the earth. One more, hold the hips lifted, draw the weights to your hips if you're using them, lift your toes so you're pressing your heels into the earth. Hips are nice and high. 
We're gonna press the knees open, tiny presses here, still keeping your hips high. Not coming into a full bridge or a wheel by keeping your shoulders down. Just your hips are lifted. Just your glutes are off the floor. If you're using the weights, make sure to hold them onto your hips so they don't come rolling down and hitting you in your beautiful face. You got tiny presses open. Give me 10 more. That's nine and eight. Last seven, final six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release your hips down. Set your weights off to the side. Draw your knees into your chest, chin to chest, coming into a little ball, maybe rolling side to side. Maybe don't fall into furniture or walls that you have. All right, from the same position, go ahead and come to happy baby. Drawing the soles of your feet up. You can grab the soles of your feet. You can also grab the back side of your thigh. Your lower back is to stay pressed into the earth. You can also relax your head down. Same thing here, you can roll side to side if you'd like for a nice lower back stretch. You can also extend one leg, drawing the opposite leg in, and of course, switching sides, keeping everything symmetrical. You can extend both legs straight for a nice straddle stretch. Draw both of your legs in, bend your knees, from here, keep your right knee bent, extend your left leg long. Your right knee pulls up towards your right shoulder, avoiding your rib cage. Maybe circle out your ankles, point flex both of your toes. With your left hand, grab the outside of your right knee, pull across your body for a nice lower back stretch. You're welcome to look up or look over your right shoulder. Trying to keep your right shoulder down into the floor. You can extend that right arm long or cactus your hand for a nice deeper shoulder stretch. Go ahead and release down, coming back to center, keeping that right knee in towards your chest. Maybe circle out that hip and then of course reversing the direction. And then switching sides, extend your right leg long, draw your left knee in towards your left shoulder, pulling flex, circle out your ankles. Relaxing your lower back. With your right hand, grab the outside of your left knee, pulling it across your body over to the right side. Optional, look over the left shoulder or look up. Trying to keep your left shoulder down but not forcing it. You can cactus your left hand or you can extend it straight. Nice shoulder stretch. Go ahead and come back to center with that left knee still in towards your shoulder. Maybe circling out that hip and then reversing the direction. Draw your knees back into your chest, curling into a ball. Rock yourself forwards and backwards a few times. Nice lower back stretch. Rocking as many times as you'd like or as many times as you need before coming up to a seated position. Go ahead, extend your right leg long, drawing your left leg in towards the inside of your right leg. Right arm reaches down, left arm reaches up overhead. Chin and chest stays lifted, looking out under your left arm. Holding it here for one more breath. And then drawing your left arm down to the inside of your right leg, left arm reaches to the outside. Reaching down, maybe bringing your nose to knee, heart to thigh. Coming up on the next exhale. Go ahead and extend your left leg long. Draw the right sole of your foot into the left thigh. Maybe move your hips, trying to flatten out your hips. Draw your left hand to the inside of your left leg. Right arm reaches up overhead. Chin and chest stays lifted. Nice deep stretch all along the right side body. Go ahead and rotate your right arm down to the inside of your left leg. Left arm comes to the outside of your left leg. Maybe bringing your nose to knee, heart to thigh. and then gently roll up on your next exhale. Drawing the soles of your feet together. You can scoot yourself closer. You can also extend your legs further if you'd like. Maybe roll side to side 
to get your hip bones nice and flat, setting up nice and tall, drawing your right ear to your right shoulder, draw your chin to your chest, down in front, left ear, left shoulder, coming back through center, drawing your chin to your chest, right ear, right shoulder, one more time to the left side, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder, now we're going to roll it back on the nape of your neck, back towards your spine, right ear to your right shoulder, nape of your neck, back, left ear, left shoulder. One more time to the right side, nape of your neck down, right ear to right shoulder. Come back through center, maybe roll your shoulder blades back, roll them forward, up and over, nice big inhale. One more, arm sweep up overhead. And back down, come to standing, and give yourself a nice big round of applause. Fantastic work, everyone. Thank you again so much. My name's Amanda. Hope to see you all again soon. Make sure to stretch, drink plenty of water. Have a great weekend.